Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley, if you are tuning in for the first time and today we are bobbing. So my first wig sent me this gorgeous 12 inch bob wig. It is HD Swiss Lace. I am in love. You're gonna see this is a simple and easy one, two, three step type of wig. That is exactly what my first wig stands for. They are a company that if you are beginner friendly or intermediate even if you are advanced and you just don't want to go through the steps you don't have to dye anything bleach any lots tint any lace typically your wig will come already ready to go just cut the lace bond her down if you will you can also wear it glueless if you choose and you'll see that in the video that the wig fits amazing um, and it comes with all of the tools you need so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay babies let's jump right into it this is the packaging from my first wig and this is what she looks like on they have it set as a center part but you're gonna see in a minute what it looks like as a side part also look at the inside construction of the cap as well as the hairline feel free to customize the wig it's yours once you buy it so you can do whatever you like she's 12 inches in length I'm 534 reference and this is how she sits on me this is my sweet daughters I love watching them grow and adding them as cameos to my videos as promised, this is what it looks like as a side part. Now, I didn't do it up, but you kind of get the picture. I'm going to keep it as a center part, but you can also do like the flip over method. You can do, you know, different little styles to switch it up and give versatility to your wig. Also, I'm going to go ahead and add my wax. This is going to help to lay down the center part. It's going to make sure that there's no flyaways and everything just looks flawless, right? My electric hot comb is from bdacbeauty.com. I'll have it linked in the description box as well as everything else. Also, you can see the difference of using the electric hot comb. The wax also, it kind of will flatten everything out and give it a salon-esque quality. And look, I forgot to use heat protectant as always. So I'm still going to use it because, you know, better late than never, right? Now let's go with the Bebeless flat iron I do have it on the highest setting just to give it exactly what it needs wanted to give it a silk press it already has a beautiful silky texture but you know what's a little extra heat especially if you've used a heat protectant get a load of the highlights they are literally the color of my complexion and I love them whether you are lighter than me or darker than me or my complexion this wig will be so beautiful on you and it definitely is work life family um, modesty safe it's going to give you exactly what you need just to kind of give your skin that glow that sun kiss vibe without just going too far and the root is completely dark so that it doesn't have that like streaky highlight trashy look it looks very nice clean and classy now we went ahead and cut out the excess lace and I'm just kind of showing and demonstrating how this one fits glueless. I don't need any glue at all. It lays and sits on the hairline perfectly. At this point, I was planning on doing some baby hair so I decided to bond it down because I personally prefer a wig bonded down with a glueless adhesive to make it melt into the lace or the lace melt into my skin rather. Especially if I'm going to add baby hair because I don't want it to move around. I want it to be super melted. You can see I applied my adhesive, and again, this is a glueless adhesive, so it's just to hold hairspray, and I paired it with the blow dryer on a cool setting, but you can notice that I just added a very little bit. It didn't need a lot at all. Now I'm going to work on the hairline, and I want it to look as nice and flawless and pretty much like it's growing out of my scalp, so I'm going to repeat the steps that I did in the parting, and this definitely is a step I never, ever, ever skip out on. Okay, love bugs. So we are done with the look. I love this one especially because it has a little bit of a color highlight in there. It's very subtle, very like life safe, whether you work or whether you just are not the person who wants to like go to the carpool and drop your kids off and commute or socialize with the other mom and dads in purple hair or pink hair. This is definitely a fun and safe and subtle way to add a little bit of color in your life. Now, one thing I did not do is I did not add any powder or or concealer I'm gonna go ahead and do that now now I don't think it necessarily needs it like I can pass without I'm gonna use concealer which is just face regular Fenty concealer for the parting and then I'm gonna use powder which is like a regular powder foundation for the um, hairline there's not a lot of hairline out 
but up close and in person, obviously there's that line where the lace actually started. And I wanna make sure that that camouflage or blends with my complexion. I like the fact that I have a shade that blends with my real complexion, but it still pops on the lace so that it looks like scalp, if you will, or not even scalp, but just, it looks like the parting, but like, natural in my opinion as far as the wig goes we did receive this one from my first wig and this is their packaging as usual i love the fact that with this company their actual package is strong and sturdy enough that it always withstands shipping and handling because a lot of boxes will come to you like bent up and mangled and i've never had that issue with this company um this is the wig bag that the wig came in very nice and secure also inside of the bag they did include the adjustable straps now I'm gonna leave these in here in case I decide to use them these will help the wig to fit tighter so that I don't have to bond the wig down but typically if I'm gonna bond the wig down I don't use them because I like the fit without an elastic band if that makes any sense also they included my brown wig caps which is perfect as far as the dimensions they do give you a info card and on here you have your order number and all the information about your wig for example for me this one is um TBA014 is the name of the wig. The texture is silky. It's 12 inches in length. The color is same as pictured when you click the link in the description box. Same size or cap size is a size one, which is the smallest. Um, you can measure your head with a regular tape measure to figure out your dimensions, um, to figure out what cap size is best for you. And then the cap by and then the cap construction is a 13 by 6 lace front wig. It is HD Swiss lace and the lace color is light brown. I like light brown because with some lace, medium brown comes up a little bit too dark. Now even though I'm a warm brown girl, I don't know what it is, but some lace is like way too brown and it looks... It doesn't look as good, if you will. With that, you can definitely use like a concealer or, you know, like foundation or lace tint to manipulate it. But light brown allows me to, first of all, you guys see that it already looks fine without me adding anything. But it allows me to be able to have versatility or whatever the case may be to darken it or deepen it if I need to. Also inside the box, you do have a coupon code. And then you also have your little travel kit and you guys have seen this before but it's like a reusable pouch i love it with the stripes on it and it has a logo on both sides and then inside of it i love the all black aesthetic there are two dolphin clips but you can't go wrong with these and then you also have a rat tail comb which again things that you'll always need and you can't go wrong with and of course it has their logo on it forgive me if there are any crimps or anything right here but this is what the back looks like and then this is what it looks like as far as what 12 inches looks like on me i am 53 for reference 53 on me may be different from 53 on others this one is a perfect 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 bob length and i love her so much so be sure to check the description box before you head out to check her out for yourself you'll also find lists and links which i have been seeing lately a lot of people have been asking questions about like where is this from where's your flat iron from it's always in the description box for you guys if you need any of that information thank you guys so much for rocking with your girl and of course i will see you in tomorrow's video smooches